Check out the High Wrestling Podcast. Yup. Hosted by Marley, who yeah. is here at Hood Slam tonight. Marley, where you at? What's up, Marley? Marley, you're here? Oh, What's shit. Up, Marley? Marley, and you haven't bought me a drink yet? <laughs> Your host and commentator for the evening. Oh, shit. That's me, bro. I hail from the highest peak of Mount Bro Olympus. I am the voice of Hood Slam, guaranteed to bro your fucking mind. Bro Sip, Joe Brogane. We've got some fan-fucking to get done right here tonight. A monumental Hood Slam awaits you. Tonight is Hood Slam Blue. But in my opinion, bro, this shit is going to light Oakland on fire tonight because we've got not one, but two returns in this very ring here tonight. One of which is the father of filth, the original nightmare, your demigod of death. I'm talking about Funny Bone. <laughs> and another return to Hood Slam here tonight. The living legend is back in Oakland. Ladies and gentlemen and beyond, tonight in this very ring, do you feel that? Ooh, ooh, I don't know. I'm gonna ask again, but a little louder this time. Party people, I said, do you fucking feel that? You know what that feeling is? That feeling is the shit about to hit the fans. Oakland, California, it's the third Friday of the month. So check your fucks at the door, because this is the accidental phenomenon. This is real. This is, say it with me, bitches, motherfucking hood
Temple. One, two. And Brittany Wonder gets the shoulder up shortly after two. Oh, fuck you, Harry. No, you're right to boo. You're right. Squad's a bunch of assholes. They stole her championship belt. They've actually held on to it for months now. Oh! Wiggles! 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 
Giants. The Scarlet Brothers aligning themselves with James C to form the Boom Gang. No, not a wrist bomb. She's fighting for her life.
But when I was here wrestling, like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and the Stoner Brothers came out, I'm just curious, where the fuck were you? No, rigging himself up and now Viper's returning it. Yeah. <laughs> now Effie did the upward taste last. Yes. Viper's with the downward taste last. Well, you know, different, they trained at different schools. Oh, yeah, so. yeah. They, Viper's is part lucha, so yes. it's a little backward. Right. And let me see me. Let me see me. Viper's off the off the ropes. Oh. Runs right into that fucking meat wall that is Effie. Yeah. He's a fucking wall. Yeah, that is impressive. Yes. Off the ropes again. I don't think it's working. Call me crazy. I don't think I don't think it's working. You're fucking crazy. I think it's not working. You said to call me that. I just listened. Okay, you're right. And now Viper's challenging Effie to hit the ropes. Clear the dirt out from underneath your boots, bro, and pitch up your britches. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fishnets way above the belly button. As if Speaking of Lucha Libre. Now as if he wasn't warmed up on the ropes. Whoa, ducks underneath. Into what? a tight, tight waist lock. That's a tight one, man. Oh my god. Hang hey, up for dear life is Vibris. Who hasn't been there just hanging onto the hips of somebody as they swing you around violently? Tell me about it. Typical Saturday night for me, bro. Yeah, it's like a human oh. centipede, only more beautiful. Well, Effie going for a low blow, and uh, yeah, nothing there to low blow, bro. Ducks underneath. Up and round. Ducks and takeover. I've been known to. Vertical suplexes not only rush the blood to your head, right. but they cut off your fucking oxygen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's not fun, bro. No part of it is fun whatsoever. Your face gets hot and your legs get cold, and I already have really cold feet. And a bad leg. And just ass to mouth, which normally I wouldn't complain about, but if it's not consensual, maybe not. Right. And now just foot to throat. Effie taking Vipers to the ATM and then choking her out with that boot. Another oh, body slam. Mouth. Yeah. Don't fuck you! Yeah. Beautiful somersault neck breaker connecting into the cover! Hit by Hollywood two. Two. No! Viper still kicks out. Only two. And Effie still holding the, the crotchal region. Yes. I added an L so it sounded more scientific. It sounds medical. We add an L to it. Yeah. That's why medical has an L. Yes, exactly. Yeah. With fun. <laughs> Throw pussy, thank you. And now, up. Oh god, dropping the 
fucking crotch, but again, Vipers is like, oh my god, oh my fucking god. You're not gonna sell my shit? How about I punch you in your face? Yeah, just gotta knock the fuck out. One, two, two. too close to the ropes. Vipers using that ring awareness, she does not knock the fuck out. I'm How telling you, like, Vi again, I said some mean things, but they were just coming from my heart. Vipers is an amazing athlete. She knows what to do in the ring, she knows where she is at all times. And she is always oh, hard. Punishing forearm enough to stop Viper. Oh, 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 right now, orbital bone. Oh, oh, in a row. Enough to create some separation here. Viper perched on that second rope. Oh, 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 What you say? Oh, that now, you know how many neck bridges he does? All of them. All of the neck bridges. <laughs> and the Jeff bridges. <laughs> and the Lloyd bridges. Fucking <laughs> Holy shit, Ruby Cutter! Connecting one, two, three! I don't know what or who you are, but when you took our leader, you went one step too far. Now, there are two options that lay before you right now. Option one, you bring Brooke Havoc to this ring and release her. No harm, no foul. Wow, so the emo heads to me. Option two! Okay. Sorry. Option two! Two! Is you take my request and you refuse to let Brooke Havoc out of her cage. And I will be left with no choice but to unleash the deadliest case of emo brain! Emo fucking life. The, 
The duel's gone. The duel's gone. Never mind. Okay, you tried. God, just got that synced in. Oh, right in the feet. Oh, the big, sad, broody daddy. Taking us. Oh, watch out, everybody. Careful, he's 6'7 and 313 pounds. Give him a wide berth. Oh, just pulling D Torch in the center of the ring. And now we finally have some control. This is, the bell has rung. This is an official tag team match. Of we course are, it is. And we still have not one, but two more matches coming your way, including the best athlete in the East Bay. Award is on the line next. Oh my God. And then your main event, the Stoner Brothers versus Jonas. So wait, there's a cover. Two, only two. Double, which we both established was called something I couldn't say the first time. Out they the both back. pointed it. Oh, oh, double kick to the fucking bread basket. And now double teaming the six foot seven, three hundred and thirteen pounder. Oh no! They can't get him up. He's too big. He's too heavy. Oh my God! Double suplex. This is real. for accepting that's the one accepting sponsorships for each and every fucking show bro and we got one tonight that i want to shout out real quick if you're a fucking wrestling fan and if you also enjoy smoking weed bro you need to check out the high wrestling podcast yep hosted by Marley, who yeah. is here at Hood Slam tonight. Marley, where are you at? What's up, Marley? Marley, you're here? Oh, What's shit. Up, Marley? Marley, and you haven't bought me a drink yet? <laughs> I was on your fucking podcast for no money. She's too high for this. Marley gets high and talks about wrestling, including the past several Hood Slams. Ma'am, And has interviews with wrestlers. Most recently, you, bro. Yeah, hi. She interviewed you on yeah, a recent I was episode. There. I was there. She did a great job. Awesome. I fucking love that. 
So, the show's available wherever you listen to your podcast, Spotify, Apple Music. You can follow the show on Twitter at the High WP and Instagram at the dot HWP to keep up with new episodes and vlogs. Marley, we fucking appreciate you, bro. Thank you for sponsoring a mother fucking hood slam. Making his way to the ring.
drunk, you fuck? Not nearly as drunk as last time, at least. <laughs> Irish whip. Double Irish whip. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, shit. No. Okay. Thank fucking God. Yeah, because I was, I was, were you thinking what I was thinking? Yeah, but oh, luckily they weren't thinking it. Yeah. No. But that is a turn out. Slam show that just two. I wish I can stay longer after Hood Slam shows, but I have the body clock of a grandmother and a bedtime of ten thirty. So staying out at midnight. This is not the body that survived Warp Tour. I will tell you that right now. But all in all, it was an amazing night. Uh, I sponsored the show. I got shouted out on the live stream. I met Effie. It was a wonderful culmination of a night. Also found out that Jack in the Box has, I guess their version of the McDonald's snack wrap, which I have never had the pleasure of eating a McDonald's snack wrap in my existence. So I tried the Jack in the Box one. Well, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to. 
this will be up at some point. Thank you to everybody again at Hood Slam for being awesome. Wait, Quick update. Showing. A snack wrap. A Dragon Box snack wrap. They did something. They done did something right there.